I think when people first hear about dog massage, they think I'm going to chant over the dogs and light candles and spin spin uh, crystals over them. And that's not the case. I practice an acupressure massage technique that's based in traditional Chinese medicine that goes back thousands of years. I can't honestly remember a time when I didn't love dogs. And my mom always used to say that she'd hand me a doll because she was a dolly girl when she was growing up. And I was never interested in them. But, you know, hand me a soft toy and I was so there. So the Balanced Dog is predominantly a canine massage practice that focuses on fitness and wellness regardless of life stage. So we're going to Joe and Izzy's house. Izzy is a chocolate Labrador who's now 11 and a half, and I've been working with her for about five years. And I'm told that about two days ago, three days ago, she slid awkwardly on the floor and has twisted her right wrist. And so there's a bit of a ligament strain in there that we need to be looking at today. I think when people first hear about dog massage, they think it's going to be only the rich people hire me. But the plain fact of the matter is I have clients from all walks of life. The common denominator is that their dog is part of their family and they want them to be as well and as happy for as long as possible. How are you going? Meeting a new dog and then working with them over time is building a new friendship almost. You learn to communicate with one another. It's quite rewarding when they greet you at the front door. They're, they're happy to see you. It's, it's like greeting an old friend, really. Good girl. A massage is hands-on, and dogs are creatures of touch, just like we are. And it's part of that bond that you can have with your animal. And when I teach massage classes, I, I tell owners that's one of the best things you can have, even just through what I'm going to teach you to do. Your hands are great tools. You get a lot of information through them. You can feel muscle tension and knots and trigger points. And we can relieve a lot uh, through using your hands. Like many people in the pet industries, I think you can point to an animal that was your muse, the one that sent you on a path. And that, that animal for me was Daisy. She had a lot of health problems over the course of the years we were together. And it was my journey at finding what was right for her. And it wasn't just traditional veterinary care of pharmaceutical choices and surgeries. Good boy. Come on. I realized there were just so many modalities and what, which, which, which was I gonna choose from my path. And that's after some research, I decided it was time to go overseas for canine massage training. Daisy passed away in July of 2014, and it was pretty clear to me I didn't want to be dogless for too long. And my friend who actually adopted Daisy to me said, maybe it's time that you get the greyhound that you've always talked about. Once you adopt a greyhound, you become a member of a, a greater community who's greyhound mad. and. Um, there's so many greyhounds that need homes, and so fundraising for them for supporting adoptions just came naturally. I just see how people react to Izzy when we're out and about with her. They always ask, did she race? You know, what's her age? You know, when they see her in her pram. And if I have to be out working, she needs to be able to be at home on her own, which she is more than happy to do. But a clever boy. There is something rewarding about seeing a dog more comfortable or moving more freely or overcoming their anxieties. You, you've made the world a little bit of a better place. And you also get that feedback from their families who tell you how the dog has improved and how grateful they are that the dog is more comfortable or more happy or both. Um, and, and, you know, you can't get any better, better reward than that.